I just went through and counted our mugs and there were 27. Hello and welcome, my name is Heather. I am starting a new series on my channel where I will be going room by room throughout our home, minimizing and decluttering and creating an environment that is less stressful and more peaceful to be in. So if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. I will be posting one video a week where I share my tips on minimalism and decluttering. So in today's video, I am starting in the kitchen, but I am going to start in the cabinets and this will be kind of a part one. I did do a pantry makeover just recently. If you wanna check that out, I will be linking it below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the kitchen and get started. But here is our coffee mug cabinet. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Okay, and this is not even all of the mugs that we currently have. There are some in the dishwasher and I believe a couple in storage um, for Christmas. But, too crazy. We did get rid of a lot of stuff already when we moved in and it's amazing how much we still have even after all of that. It's kind of an ongoing process I've learned. Okay, so like these mugs with the country on them. I used to collect these every time we would go to a new country. I would always go to Starbucks and get a mug with the name of the country on it. And I think they're really cool and really cute, but I literally never drink out of these. And neither does my husband. I'm not really sure why, but they literally just sit in the cabinet. So I feel like these are the first ones that we can part with. As sad as it is, because I know I spent a lot of money on these, but they're not gaining any more value just sitting in the cabinet either, so I might as well donate them and let someone else hopefully enjoy them. Okay, so I just went through and counted our mugs and there were 27. And that's not even including, I know for sure there are a couple in our Christmas box that we use seasonally at Christmas time, so there's probably more like 30 mugs total. So I can definitely get rid of a few of these and simplify our mug cabinet. I, I think it's safe to say. I am someone who loves different seasons and decorating and I love using a seasonal mug. So I do use this one, this little morning, I don't know if you can see, this morning pumpkin mug. I use this every fall and whatever Christmas mugs I have in there, I use every Christmas too. So I probably will keep those because I know I use and love them, and so it's worth it for the joy that they bring. But I don't think I need, you know, five different ones. It was bound to happen, cause your heart is caving in. Okay, so in just like five minutes, I've already gotten it down from 27 mugs to just seven mugs and that is including my morning pumpkin mug that I was telling you about that I only use in the fall so that'll be packed away once fall is over and I'll swap it out for one of my um, seasonal Christmas mugs so that one, that one really doesn't count <laughs> and then my husband has two mugs that he really likes to use so keeping those for him and then I have two that I like to swap uh, back and forth between they're both just a really good size and I find that they're the ones that I gravitate towards and I think it's good to have at least two for each person so that if one is dirty then you still have another one um, ready to go and then this one was actually the mug that my husband gave me right before he proposed on Christmas morning so I can't part with this mug probably ever. This one is just too special and I do use it um, from time to time as well so I can't get rid of that. And then I have one that's kind of a maybe that I just couldn't decide. I don't know what it is about this little clear mug that I got in Germany but I just think it's so cool and I don't know, it just seems like it would be cool to drink hot chocolate out of at Christmas time or something, even though I've never used it ever since I got it back from Germany. So I'm just gonna put it in like in the maybe and if I still don't use it this Christmas, then I'll get rid of it then. 
but I think it's important to remember when you're decluttering not to go overboard right away and have regrets. You can always have a maybe pile and come back to it if you have a spot to maybe store it separately um, rather than risk getting rid of it and, and feeling bad about it. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay, so this next cabinet is actually not bad at all. It's just the spices which I just recently organized and condensed and then our plates and bowls. And we really just don't have very many. We, ever since we've been married, we just never have really bought um, very many plates and bowls. We just wash them frequently, like right after we use them. And then, um, yeah, we don't really need that many. So we have four, I think we have six plates because two, we have two smaller ones that are in the dishwasher and also six bowls, so like three a piece because our baby is only nine months and doesn't use them. <laughs> and I think that's perfect because again, that allows some of them to be in the dishwasher. We use multiple plates a day sometimes. I do like to have a big plate and some smaller plates. So I really don't think at this point there's too much to get rid of in that section. All right, so moving on to this side of the kitchen. So there's not a whole lot in here, just some appliances and some trays. So I already know right off the bat, I do use this waffle maker quite a bit. Um, I haven't lately, but I do love to make waffles for breakfast whenever we have a free morning, so I definitely don't want to part with that. Um, but the crock pot, I think, can definitely go now that we have the uh, Instapot, because we pretty much always use the Instapot now and haven't really found a need for the crock pot, so I think that one can probably go. And then up here, we have all of these trays, which I do bake quite a bit, and I do like to have um, some cute trays to set cookies and stuff on for different seasons. But I know for sure, like this little pumpkin tray, I had, I don't even remember exactly what I bought this for, but I literally never used it, and I've had it for a couple years now, and I still haven't used it. So. As cute as it is, I think that can probably go in the donate pile. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a peek up here into these cabinets up behind the fridge. Don't think there's gonna be anything in them, but let's just check just to be sure. Oh my gosh, there actually is stuff in here that I totally forgot we even had. We've got some plastic forks and some a picnic basket with some more cutlery plates and cups that I didn't even know was in there. So yeah, I don't know if I want to get rid of that stuff or not, but I should probably move it down here to where we know we have it so we don't forget to move on to our, I guess, cup cabinet, I don't know. And it has a ton <laughs> of stuff and it's just so disorganized. Kind of stressful to even look in here. So I'm gonna look through these and see if there's any of these that we don't really use that often that maybe we could get rid of as well. And then I'll let you know what it looks like. So this is all the stuff I cleared out of these cabinets to get rid of. I've been hanging onto these mason jars forever and I really still don't use them. I'm just kind of really over mason jars, so I'm ready to get rid of those. These organizers, I've just never been able to find a good solution for. And another thing I'm realizing, the more minimal we become and the more we get rid of, I'm able to get rid of more organization stuff. I'm realizing I don't need as many of these organization things when I have less stuff to organize. So I'm actually finding that I'm donating a lot of that kind of stuff now. And here is what the cabinets look like now. So I actually have a lot of empty space now, which would have really bothered me before because I would have felt like I needed to fill it with something. But as I'm on this journey of minimizing and decluttering, I'm realizing that it's okay to leave some spaces empty. Just because they're there does not mean they have to be filled with something. I can leave room for them to breathe. Okay, so these cabinets over here are for all of our baby stuff. And that's kind of hard at this point in life because 
we actually are still planning on having another baby fairly soon and so we don't want to get rid of any of this stuff but our baby is like past the stage of using it so it's kind of just all stored up here so I don't know how much I could actually get rid of in here but right now it is just kind of a mess so at the very very least uh, I just want to take a look and see if there's anything can be, can be gotten rid of or maybe just arranged a little bit better just stuff everywhere just kind of piled in here all these bottles milk bottles medicines and different things and then all of this back stock of like milk bags and formula that we were hanging on to just in case breastfeeding didn't work out and we never ended up using it so I actually need to see if any of that is expired and then like this stuff I know I want to keep most of it but organize it a little bit better. Water's rising, the dam is breaking in. It was bound to happen, cause your heart is caving in. So I was able to get rid of so much from this cabinet and it just looks so much better. I'm just, I, it feels so much less stressful to look in here now. Some of the some of the stuff was expired, so I had to toss that. And then some of the extra bottles and stuff that I knew we weren't going to use, I put in recycling. And the things that couldn't be donated, like breast milk bottles and and things like that. And now this whole cabinet is actually just his baby stuff. And I was able to use this bottom shelf for things that we are using now, like the pouches, his bibs, his little cups, um, and the and medicines and things like that. And then the things that I don't need anytime soon, like the pumping supplies and the newborn bottles and things like that are up on the higher shelves. And then there was still a little bit of formula that wasn't expired. And since he's not quite a year old yet, I'm holding on to that just in case breastfeeding doesn't work out as long as we hope but I just feel like this is so much so much better okay so this is our utensil drawer and honestly this one I don't think needs much work because we really never had a lot of extra utensils we have four of each and that works out really well for when you know a couple are dirty you might use multiple forks or spoons throughout the day so I think four is pretty good that's like two each and then just our can opener. We actually do use this pizza cutter really frequently. I use this cookie scoop, um, our measuring cups. We have this little sock thing that's supposed to be to clean my baby's tongue when he was smaller. I don't really think we'll be using that, but plastic forks, we can get rid of those. Measuring spoons, peeler, we use all of those things. And then I do use these metal straws. And baby spoons, this toothbrush. I don't really use this one. So yeah, this one is pretty much good to go. It's already pretty, already pretty decluttered. Next to the stove. And it just has all kinds of miscellaneous stuff in it. So I think there's probably going to be a lot to get rid of. Like, Okay, so this knife. I think it's a nice knife. Cuisine art. It's like a chopping knife. But we don't use it. We literally never use I can't remember ever using it. So that's a maybe. Definitely don't use these copper, copper chef knives. Another pair of scissors that I didn't know that we had. It was bound to happen, cause your heart is caving in. So down here in the depths of the bottom cabinets, it's quite dark, but 
honestly, most of this stuff we use um, because it, I already pared it down quite a bit before we even moved. I really don't think there's much to get rid of. These go with my stand mixer. I do use these um, cheesecake pans. I use these baking pans and I even use the donut one back here um, because I like to make homemade healthy donuts. I use the mixing bowls. Um, it could definitely be a little bit better organized, but as far as like decluttering, okay, this rolling pen though, I'm, I don't think I've ever used. Watch, I'll get rid of it though, and then I'll need it for something, but I, I think I could probably get rid of that. And honestly, probably this one because I can't even remember the last time I used that pan, so. And here is the after. Not a huge change, but I did get rid of a couple of pots and pans that were extra and just kept the few things that I know we use on a regular basis. And then some of my baking supplies over in this corner that I talked about and I got rid of some of the extras that I know I won't use that often. And then I just needed to organize a little bit underneath the kitchen sink. There were a lot of extra rags and just a little bit disorderly. So I went through and got rid of the rags that were ratty and just kept a few for us to use. And I hate having all of the rags just hanging over the kitchen sink and on the cabinets. So I bought these little hooks at the dollar store and added those to hang our dish towel and our hand towel on. And we are renting, so this was just a nice renter-friendly uh, hack here. And then I used my label maker to label those so we know which one is for hands and which one is for drying the dishes. And here is the after, just a little bit more organized and fewer rags to contend with. And here is all of the stuff that I was able to remove from our kitchen. It feels so good to get all of this stuff out of there and have it more simplified. I think it's going to be so much easier to find things when I'm cooking. And I hope that it gave you lots of motivation to declutter and minimize your own kitchen. If it did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video where I'll be sharing part two and decluttering the countertops. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.